Am I recording? Yes. Halloween time. I love Halloween. My kids love Halloween. My wife loves Halloween. Let's draw the Grim Reaper. I'm on the landscape page. Use a pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. Basically a skull with a hood and the scythe going around the back of his head. So, did I say landscape page? I did. Center point here. Use a pencil. 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 Go up or to the right. We start with his eye. Skeleton. Crazy. Weird. Eye. So, top line. Wrinkly. Like so. Comes down. And up. Okay. These will be colored black inside, right? But you can see like a tiny little one, a little white dot, like here somewhere, just like tiny, right? And then it'll be like a white, sort of glowing eye. It's a real small, like there, and then like color black all around. I'll do that all together. So then next one, so these can be all sort of wrinkly. Some of this eye goes underneath the hoods, but Yes, we'll go down around. Do, 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 do. And then whoosh, tiny little white beady eye. And that'll be sort of glowing all there. Okay, so then this will be like more frown sort of stuff texture you know skulls have all cracks and things coming up all right so all this and there's a hood up here so we can't sort of do much more than that Right, and then maybe some lines along the bottom of his eye as well, around the eye socket and stuff. So you want the eye socket to be kind of... bumpy, I guess. Right, so his nose, kind of a love heart shape. Upside down, love heart. Okay, and again, you color in there black. So his cheekbones just come down from around the eye, right? And comes sort of across the face. Right, in towards the nose, sort of down like this. Same kind of thing on this side, maybe here. So we can see more hood on that side. Okay, so what I mean is like, there's a bit of hood that hangs down on this side of his face here, but we can, we can erase it if we don't need it. So let's just go for that. And then we have like more bone sort of lines and stuff all here. It's great drawing Halloween things. All these texture lines now. So, top of the skull, right, meets the jawbone, which is a separate bone, right? So, the teeth, sort of, part of the skull comes down this way. Right? And then you have teeth in the middle, right? So, you got, like, all these kind of, like, teeth lines just bumping across here. You need two big ones in the middle, right? That's the main thing. And then these come across, like so. 
and then the, each of these represents a tooth. Nice, and you just do the bottoms. coming across like that and then the bottom teeth so they can be quite long you know the way they go into when you see a teeth a, a teeth a tooth in your mouth you're just seeing like the top of the tooth you know, you're not seeing the whole thing. So this is like the bottom jaw then. Okay, and then some textures just coming up from these teeth then. Like so. Side jaw, jaw bone, right here. You've got this sort of bone that comes out this way. Okay. And there's like a hole in the face, just there. It'd be black in there as well. Unless you want to be able to like see through it which you can do if you want. So there'll be all like textures back there if you want it. But I'll just, I'll do black, it's easier. Jawbone sticks out. Comes down to like a pointy sort of chin. Like that. And then kind of like textures on this bone then. Like so. Okay, so it's kind of a strange, it's kind of like a robotic kind of thing. We don't have, it's kind of like a futuristic robotic Grim Reaper. He's got like a robot neck, basically. You know, we've got like neck muscles here, or what look like neck muscles. It's interesting. So we want to just add these ones first. And then we got like a box in here. Another box in behind. And then like more and it goes, we go behind the cloak then again. You can give these edge lines and stuff just to make them look a bit more metallic. Okay, and then like the side of the neck here kind of bumps down with all these different sort of layers and textures and stuff. There, coming across, across that way. And then the side of the neck. Down here and up that way. And then there's like a cord wrapped around the neck, right? So it like comes across like so and like coming out from his head. Maybe it's a wire or something. Kind of like Terminator, I guess. This is the Terminator Grim Reaper version. Like 
one here. Do 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 do. Make some more. Mecha lines and stuff. So I'm stopping sort of here because the hood kind of covers most of that. Right, so speaking of hood, so the hood line, right? You could do this anyway, but it kind of comes across his face. And anything you draw over, you can just erase, right? So the hood line kind of goes that way. And then it kind of twists and turns and bends like there. And you've got like other sections. Okay. And then like all these fold lines. Stuff on the inside coming across the neck. That and that does look like a phone line on that, and then it kind of goes up his head this way around the head. It's all wrapped up. Texture lines at the back. Right. And this just goes around his head then. Various layers actually, so like around this way. So there's lots of different sort of four lines and stuff all on that right and then it keeps going so around lots of these it's all like wrapped along itself his shoulder kind of just bumps off this way right all these four lines bumping down and the hood is kind of like torn in parts and stuff all along this and get really elaborate you can do dirt and textures and all this kind of stuff if you want Right in the shoulder, just kind of bumps off down here. And like some more sort of fold lines going that way. So 
that's his hood and his rope. So his scythe, right? It's like a half sort of moon shape behind his head. And it's like he's like holding it down here and it like comes up and then goes behind his head. It's like leaning against the shoulder. Okay. So a ruler might be helpful for this. And if you, where you draw over, you can erase or color over. Okay. So you just would erase inside because this will be over his body. So you got to raise inside these lines. Like so. So the scythe itself is like this jaggedy looking thing. So it's got like a curve on it here and it goes behind the head. The spike there. And then this other side is like more rough. Right, going that way. And then it has like this top part, which has like all, it's like bone or broken metal or something coming along here. Right? And this will curve all the way down to like a point down here. Okay. Right, coming down. Roughly, right? There. And then this second part of the blade will go this way. It kind of comes to here. And we'll give it like another hook section. Very pointy going that way. Okay. And then these blades tend to have like an extra line that follows down this way. Right, like so. And then this will have another one going around there. And then something down the middle of this. Kind of makes them look just a bit more three dimensional. You know, you're just putting these angles on things. Okay, I know this is kind of confusing because of all the lines, but it just goes straight down that way. And then it has a top sort of part that comes up around, say, same angle, kind of here. Kind of looks like the top of a pumpkin all crooked. And then just goes, we'll make it bigger, we'll go there. And then this has like a whole bandage wrapped around it. And then if you want like textures, like maybe like we'll make this look kind of like bumpy sort of like veins and things. Okay, so that's basically it. You put like leaves and things. In the background, you know, like wind is blowing. So, Grim Reaper, hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. Well, it's not Halloween yet, but it's nearly Halloween. Halloween season. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.